HCTZ or hydrochlorothiazide. Many of you guys have probably heard about this. A lot of people are on this medication. It's a thiazide diuretic. Um, it's a blood pressure medication. Actually, this medication uh, can be a cause of erectile dysfunction in men. That is right. In fact, there are a number of blood pressure medications that can cause ED in men. These thiazide diuretics such as HCTZ, just one. Also, beta blockers. You've probably heard of these. Labetalol, metoprolol, things like that. The alols. Uh, some Sometimes can also cause EDMN. There are other blood pressure medications as well. Uh, perhaps uh, spironolactone can do it. Others may do it as well. But those um, thiazide diuretics and beta blockers are huge. Now, let's move on to another class. This is a common class. NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory um, medications such as ibuprofen, Motrin, believe it or not, yes, can actually contribute to ED in men. I bet you didn't know that. And a third category of medications, that's our antidepressants and antipsychotics, things like Zoloft and Prozac. Um, actually, this is a, a class of medications that I often talk to patients about uh, the men that come in with ED. Um, we're looking at their medications. This is a class of medications we're often looking at as well. Other um, categories within the antidepressant, antipsychotic uh, group, um, TCAs such as nortriptyline, amitriptyline, um, and uh, there are many, many others. I'm just literally naming a few. Another common class, though you might not have realized, is antihistamines. Yeah, you think of antihistamines as medications that might help your allergies or help allergic reactions or maybe help GERD symptoms, acid reflux symptoms. Antihistamines like Benadryl can actually cause ED in men. That's right. Famotidine, which is an antihistamine, also treats uh, uh, acid reflux, can also cause ED in men. Now, I should say, um, not every man who takes these medications will get erectile dysfunction, okay? That's not what I'm saying. I'm also not saying to stop your medications if you realize that you're on one of these and you have ED. Remember, you should never stop any medications without your doctor's advice. Uh, and remember, just because you're on these medications doesn't mean that it's the medication that's causing your ED. It's always possible it's some other underlying issue that you have. So don't make assumptions. You got to talk to your doctor first. But let's go on to a few more causes or medication causes of erectile dysfunction. Chemotherapy and anti-androgen uh, medications, as you can imagine, uh, those medications can often cause erectile dysfunction in men. Parkinson's medications can do it as well. And of course, things like opioid painkillers uh, can cause erectile dysfunction. And while we're on this sort of train of thought, let's also talk about um, alcohol. Alcohol um, is not a prescription medication, right? Uh, but it can cause ED or erectile dysfunction. Also, street drugs, illegal drugs can cause erectile dysfunction as well. Keep in mind, there are plenty of other medications that can cause erectile dysfunction. This was just a smattering, just a few to give you an idea. But it's also to encourage you that if you have ED or a loved one has ED, talk to your doctor because it is possible that a medication could be contributing to that and you may not have known this. Um, as I said before, don't assume it's a medication because it may be something entirely else. And of course, again, don't stop your medications without your doctor's advice. Just make sure you talk to us. So I hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've had this experience because I, I always ask you to share because oftentimes what you share helps someone else. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator on Facebook. If you've not liked and followed my page, please do. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Thank you so much. On YouTube, subscribe to my channel, click the little bell for updates. And guys, check out my website, drjencaudill.com. You can sign up for my free health newsletter and so much more. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.